Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. I'm making an earth tone blingy canvas today. So if you would like to see how I made this, then please keep watching. Okay, so for today's DIY, I'm going to be using some earth tone colors. And it all started because I found this beautiful glitter at Michael's. It's Spinet brand and it's called Roaring Twenties. And it's kind of like a champagne gold with some smaller iridescent flakes in there. And I'm going to also be using this dollar store silver glitter, my gold crushed filler glass. My paints are champagne gold, coffee latte, rich espresso, Zinc, I absolutely love this color. And then a vanilla. I didn't want a stark white in this. And I picked this bling wrap up from Amazon quite some time ago and I thought this would be beautiful to frame it out. I will leave a link in my description box and I will leave a complete list of everything that I end up using today in my description box as well. I'll be using my Triart liquid glass, some tacky glue because this bling wrap is not self-adhesive, and my canvas is a 16 by 20 inch. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just put a line across my canvas. that's going to be too high. I'm going to bring it down. Okay, and then I'm going to do my striping from this line down. Okay, I'm going to start with Vanilla Craft Smart. Then I've got some coffee latte, folk art. I'd have some clumps in these paints. Some of them are a little old. And this one is a rich espresso. It's a metallic deco art. This is zinc. It's a metallic deco art. I love this color. There's no rhyme or reason which color you do. Um, I just try to keep a nice balance throughout. And then this is the champagne gold. And I love this champagne gold when doing this technique because when I did my rose multicolored one, the shimmer of this paint went throughout the whole canvas. It was absolutely beautiful. Okay, and I'm just going to spritz my brush here with a little bit of water. Load my brush up.
going to add a little more of the zinc down on this end. That is really, really pretty. And I think I'm going to go with the zinc up top. with the vanilla. Okay, and I have a new brush. going to add a little bit of the champagne gold up top. I want it to be blended a lot more up top than the striping effect down below. And I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, my paint is all dry and that is looking very, very pretty. There's just that sheen again in here from that champagne gold and I absolutely love it. Now, I want to clean up my edges, all of my edges, the sides before I put my rhinestone frame on. So I'm going to use the zinc and I'm going to either put one or two coats along the edges just to clean them up because I'm not going to be framing that part out. And I think the easiest way to do that is just with a little foam brush Okay, and I'm just going to come up onto my rounded corners with it. Because when I go to put the bling wrap on, it's going to be not right up to the edge. It's just going to be right about where the canvas starts rounding out. And I want the zinc to be showing on the rounded corners, rounded edges. I think I'm going to be able to get away with just one, one coat. Okay, so before I put the framing on, I just wanted to video this on a different angle so you could see the shimmer from that champagne gold. I just love how that does that. It just goes throughout the whole canvas with this technique. Okay, so now I'm going to frame my canvas out with this beautiful bling wrap. There's just a little bit of a glitch right here. I think they must have, must have been at the end of the roll. So I'm just gonna cut that piece off.
Okay, I have my four pieces of the bling wrap cut out for my frame, and I'm going to use this tacky glue to glue it down. Let's get it going here. Okay, and then when I go to put this down, I want to try and get it on there exactly where it's going to be placed without messing up my paint job too much. Just wipe away some of this excess glue. It dries clear, but it'll end up drying shiny, most likely. Okay, that looks about even. Okay, so my canvas is all framed out and it is looking so, so beautiful. I love this bling wrap. And now I'm going to add my crushed glass and glitter. So I'm going to be using my TriArt liquid glass. I will leave a link where you can buy this online. And if you can't get it, you can also use a clear glue. I've used that in some of my videos. Or, of course, a Mod Podge. But a Mod Podge, you have to go over it again once it's all dry and you brush it off and you have to go over it again with Mod Podge. It's just, it's quite a process. So I'm not crazy about using it, but you know, if that's all you can get, you can do it with that as well. And then my pretty gold crushed filler glass, Ashland brand from Michaels. My Roaring Twenties, this is the glitter. I just have it in a little shaker bottle and my silver. So I'm just going to go along the center here where my two paint colors meet. Okay, I'm just going to take my foam brush, just push the liquid glass to my frame here. Just even it out a little bit. I'm just doing my longer ones here. And I'm just going to make some smaller ones in between the big ones or the longer ones. And I'm just going to take a small brush here and just go up my peaks a little bit. Get them nice and pointy. Okay, that looks about right. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the Roaring Twenties down the center here. Yeah, there's some gold fine glitter color in this as well. Oh, it's just such a pretty color. I might have to take this lid off. Some of the big stuff isn't coming out. But I think I'm going to I'm going to take my silver and just get some of the peaks here before they dry out too much on me. 
And then hopefully I won't have to go back and do any touch-ups afterwards. Okay, and then really load it up with this silver. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to let my liquid glass completely dry at least four hours. A lot of times I'll let it dry overnight and then we will brush it off. My liquid glass is all dry and now it's time to brush this off. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick vacuum with the soft brush on my vacuum cleaner. Okay, so this is all brushed off and vacuumed off, and I love this color combination with the silver, um, with the silver frame around it. It's absolutely stunning. But I found these necklaces in my stash. I picked them up at Dollarama and probably sometime earlier this year. And I love the color of these ones. They're kind of like a champagne gold or a light amber. And I thought I would add a few of these along the frame. pretty. I love this color. So I've got four this shape. I'll just go ahead and place some around my frame here in the corners. And I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. This is so shiny. I can't get over how shiny this is. This color combination is beautiful. Look at that sparkle. And this bling wrap for my frame, stunning.
And those gems in the corner, the beads, just set that frame off perfectly. And see the shimmer, the gold shimmer from the champagne gold throughout? I love using that paint. Let's see if I can get the camera here to show it on the bottom part. So, so pretty. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.